Hi guys, welcome back to another episode. If you guys are watching on YouTube, Kyle's got a shirt that says Clit R Us. Weirdly. I feel like it's pretty fitting. It, it very, is fitting because we have a sick shirt. episode today. Not saying that he has a clitoris, but it's something more along the lines of he's seen more <laughs> than the average Aussie and couple of the state. Guys says practice safe sex, which is also yeah, that's true. It's yeah. also a great I mean double wrapped. It, it kinda have a little yin and yang going right now. Um <laughs> it's definitely pretty impressive, pretty impressive combo on this couch. Yeah. I wait we for have, marriage, you yeah. know. I mean it's yeah. just great. I mean it's it's somebody we've seen you on social media on Netflix, huge stuff for for a while now. I mean, it's mm-hmm. been, I mean, you know, it's been probably a year and a half since the show, since the show was filmed. I mean, you're just doing crazy things in the space. So it's great to have you as a guest. Um, yeah. Yeah. I uh, appreciate it. it. Yeah. Thank you so much. And I'm, I'm kind of annoyed I didn't have a matching shirt because I do have one that says orgy and one that says porn star. So I, I wish I tapped in with that, like brought that in. How, sure. how successful has the orgy shirt been? Never worked once. Never. Really? Wow. Never. Not once. Well, I wore it on the show that I was filming because I'd always have it or whenever I'd, uh, I got always have it out to try and like insinuate something, and then I just put it in my cupboard. Now it's collecting dust and it smells, so I don't want to wear it. Damn. Does okay. It, but it doesn't smell from orgies. It just no. I feel like I probably get canceled if I w- walked outside with like an orgy shirt. Like probably not. No, no I not in L. A. No, in L. A. Not in no. L. A. You no. don't think so? All as long as you write like all inclusive orgy, you know, you just you know, you got to be uh, open about it. And yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I want to touch on this a little bit. Uh, uh. The show. So Kyle, like he was watched all of it. Yeah. I watched, started watching the like, first season. A a super weeks ago. good show to watch with your girlfriend. Uh, fucking crazy right. show. How would you describe like the concept of this show? Uh, it was fucking hell. So <laughs> I okay. So for for context, people listening, I went on like the the casting process for the show was legit. Just like day in day out sex. Like what do you what do you do in bed? Do you like mm-hmm. to eat ass? How many people have you slept with? How many people have you said with last week? Like, so I was just like, holy shit. Mm-hmm. I'm about to fly into a fucking orgy show and just bust nuts everywhere. So before like, we get on the show, they're asking these questions to test. They the were fu- like in my head, bro. I was living, breathing sex. I was like, damn, I'm going to go on this shit and just fucking <laughs> go crazy. I mean, wild. Uh, so I pull into this. I see the hottest girl of my entire life. And I'm like, sweet. We get drunk. We get touchy. Start to feel what's going on. And they drop these rules on us where we can't have sex. We can't. Spoon, we can't kiss, we yeah, can't do yeah. anything, we lose money off a price fund because people like me are the problem. We come in and we just like don't value sex, we go crazy. So they're trying to like help teach people like me to to not uh just yeah, not like to value sex and shit like that. That's so, that's the moral so, of it is like okay. Yeah, it's trying yeah. to teach us to have morals. Yeah. You can't replace it with like dry humping or like, you know. Oh, I, try, like, I tried, like, I tried. I tried are you fuck. are you big into dry humping? I'm not big into dry humping. I'm dry just saying humper? if they fuck if they're forcing you to not have sex with really attractive people in the house, yeah. like you know, you gotta have like, escape. Yeah. I mean I mean it was literally like zero touching and, and the show's called too hot to handle. Yeah, right? well and you you fucked it up. You oh, f- absolutely. You fucked it up for everyone involved because <laughs> Absolutely. What because of what how how did it go? Um it was like if you if you touch someone you like lose yeah. money. Describe right? Lana like for the for the fans. Oh yeah, yeah. So there's a little cone bitch. I mean sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have PTSD. I hate it. Uh, there's this little cone that like lights up and it like tells you, you know, who lost money, what's going on, blah blah blah. There's like also workshops there where they teach us like st- stuff about sex. Like some of them were like how to tie each other up with ropes. Other stuff was about like losing your ego and like trying to mm. move forward and be better people. But I lost the most amount of money because I had the hottest girl I've ever seen in my entire life, and f- like I was like, yeah. I can't fight my. My genetics, my bones, my deep down, all I want to do is reproduce with her. Yeah. <laughs> like, sue me. Like, my forefathers <laughs> wanted this. So I was like, you know what? I have to do it. I don't care if it's on Netflix yeah. or whatever. I will do my best to get her pregnant. So, oh, yeah. so it was... So <laughs> <laughs> and this was the major storyline. He was not line. practicing He's, safe sex. <laughs> that was the major storyline was you and this girl, like Francesca, that you met on great, the show. Great time. Yeah. So how did it happen the first time? Uh, so quick. Yeah. It's like... It's quick. Fuck. <laughs> because because you fucked her on the show, right? Yeah, yeah. It was and great. that was and that was, but they didn't highlight that on the show. They like kind of like. I'm glad they did it. They it like tiptoed around. The back. They're like, oh, Francesca and Harry kissed. But like, I was watching this. I'm like, no fucking way they, they kissed. Kiss. Yeah, like yeah, that's more. like the way. Like that's like the sugar coating way of doing it. Well, no, there there was like an initial kiss, and then once we got the private suite, it was fucking on. I literally said to the boys, I was like, I'm sorry, like we're gonna, you should be happy if we come out of this with money. Because I'm going in there trying to spend it all. Like you have you to fuck, start. You paying. lose money for the team. So the team, when you're yeah. hooking up, you're losing the team money, right? And everyone's pissed because this money means a lot to some people and to people like me. I'm like, I don't <laughs> care just, about you're money. You're trying to get a nut. That's yeah. like a different nut. nut. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Like let let me have it. Like let Damn. me go. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, that, that we just had the private suite. 
I think we lost everyone like 20 grand that night and then just like, I think it was like 32 or less. 20 grand for sex? Would you, would you, great. it was worth it. If it was out of your pocket, would you have paid 20 grand? Fuck yeah. Really? Wow. That was such, such a good night. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, much fun. so you feel fully comfortable in saying that you would have paid twenty grand out of your own pocket to have sex with her? Yeah, and in that circumstance, for yeah. sure, with the tension building up with the fact that you're not supposed to. Everybody's oh, like cameras everywhere. So taboo. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. The craziest part is you guys would be like under a blanket, and you'd be like, "Oh, no one's gonna catch us," and she would like go under and give you a head. But then there'd be a camera in the corner of the room that catches everything you guys try to do. <laughs> the, the craziest thing is, is we thought we were so sneaky because also like I was a little bit lit. Like it takes me like two drinks to get drunk. Okay. And it was late at night, and we're like getting like frisky. And then she was like, oh, it's so cold up here. I'm going to sneak down. And I was like, oh, I'm going to lay sideways right, right. and put a pillow here so that it looks like I'm cuddling her. I forgot that it's fucking TV and they have like telescope fucking lenses and microphones <laughs> everywhere. There was a microphone above the bed, the side of the bed, and then to the other side. I think the issue was is when I came, I started laughing like loud. <laughs> and everyone's like asleep in the room. And I'm just sitting there just like. Like belly laughing And she's like Shut the fuck up And I was like I can't help it Like this is so funny Did you ever talk to like the To like the editors of the show Because I mean They were the only ones That were like really like Like watching that footage right Yeah I mean, it's literally like a porn producer, but like it's like a little yeah, bit like more. watching people fuck all the time. I, I yeah. just had to like double check. I was like, yo, like what can be shown? And they said, I think like up to a certain amount of seconds of sex can be shown if there's like covers over. And they're just like, if you don't want it to be put on, just be completely naked. And I was like, all right, well, fuck, fuck the blankets off. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, because it was cameras everywhere. You can't Blurry show up. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I so get the people mean. behind the scenes got a great show. <laughs> <laughs> they saw everything. They're just over there oh, spanking. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just, it was the it was the microphones by the bed that was so crazy to me because you're you're just straight hearing Glock Glock three thousand like with yeah. high def microphones like this was under your bed and just, you're just it's nuts. nuts. I, I, I remember watching the the sound guys like test it and they would be. That have like a pillow and they'd be like whispering in the pillow and they'd be like at the bottom of the bed and they could hear it. They just oh. like like it was so fucking like hyper sensitive. How, how long was that process? How long were you in that like? Uh, it was a month. It was a month. Yeah. Did you go crazy like always knowing that you're being filmed? Nah, I loved it. <laughs> Look at me, I'm an idiot. <laughs> it was my element. You definitely. So there's a lot of people we meet, mm. and in person. They're completely different than they are online. Yeah. You're exactly how exactly. I thought you were saying it. And it's exactly. not a bad thing at all. It's totally like energy's totally that. I love it. <laughs> exactly how I thought you were. <laughs> no, it's you and two turn Tony, bro. You, uh, you two are the. He's a legend. Yeah, he's legend. We, he's I, killing it right now. Oh, oh he he's getting the show is like crazy his, views. His videos, it's his vlogs, nuts. his merch. He gave us like well, how many four, four beer bongs, right? Yeah, and so like much two fun. mugs. So Damn. much fun. Yeah, shirts, everything. So so say say you and. Two turns on out drinking, right? Oh. Uh, all, all hypothetical. Okay, a girl comes on. Uh, say, it, say an identical an spit roast. I'm gonna. Like, okay, you guys are you guys are Eiffel. You guys are going to Paris. We've, we've had this conversation. I was like, Luke, like if we went out, I would like. I feel like it would just be a great time for them. And he's like, sure. Like I'm so about it. So imagine wow. that girl. Like I mean, she like wakes up the next morning. That has to be one of the most legendary Eiffel towers ever. That shit would be nuts. I've, and I told him, I was like, wherever you live, like I'll pull up and we'll just we'll make a scene. Which uh, which which side are you taking? Are you going are you going mouth or back uh, in the Eiffel Tower? Yeah, we'll because because you, in order for it to be a proper yeah. true Eiffel Tower, you just have to lock hands. Yeah, well, well that, that's I mean, yes, yeah, uh, hey, it's hey. fine. Like I mean, it's not like that, when you're creating a yeah, tunnel in like, like on, school. On, pa on paper. That sounds okay, but mm. like I've been in a situation where I'm like holding my boy's hands and I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm I, trying to get a nut off here, and I don't appreciate touching <laughs> you. Like I just don't want that. Like you. You focus on what's going on up there. I'm focusing on down here. We'll switch. Like it's, but yeah. You know what? You may as well be hugging him at that yeah. point. You know. So it's more just of like an H for you instead of like an A. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. How, 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 <laughs> so you're. Oh wow. Okay. So that that's a real life tower with your boy. Like yeah. I think I've done friend. like six of them. Six. six or seven. Yeah. I just can't yeah. help myself. Yeah. Oh, because I'll be like fucked up, and I'm like, oh damn, like my boy's outside. He's lonely. Should he join in? And they'll be like, oh yeah, bring him in. <laughs> and I'm like, get it, you so rascal. You're a good friend. You're you're bringing your friend. I'm in. a team player. Exactly. I'm a team. It's like it's like, it's that wingman that like kind of misses the message. It's like <laughs> it, <laughs> you like you're almost there. Like normally it should be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get this girl for my boy. Yeah. But like <laughs> you 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 get like um you get you get like a royalty for it as well. It's great. It's legit. Just like. 
we're playing sports together. Like we're just helping. It's like just, commission. Yeah, exactly. It's like an alley oop. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm LeBron. Yep. He's whatever other players. Are. I don't watch. <laughs> yeah, I don't watch basketball. I'm fucked up there. <laughs> it's, uh, what? what, what are you, have you ever played rugby? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Had, I got a knee reconstruction from it. But yeah, what's it wild. called in uh, in rugby where, you, where where they all hold each other and scrum? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's so much fun. It's such a scr- it, well, yeah. I mean, that's like with you and your boys. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're scrumming. Scrumming in the on the field and off the field. <laughs> So you grew up, how long did you grow up in Australia for? Uh, I grew up to, I was like 18. Yeah. So I went, um, I was living back and forth from Australia and New Zealand. My parents kicked me out uh, when I was like 17 or some shit. I don't know. I got kicked out of Australia because I was a piece of shit at school. So I had to go to school in New Zealand and then I got kicked out of school there and then I just started traveling. So why, why are you getting kicked out? Uh, I was just a piece of shit. I started a fight club. I blew up a toilet. Um, there was like, I just, I just kept fighting people. I was just not a good dude. It's yeah. horrible. <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect that from you. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm a piece of shit. What was the, like? What was like the reasoning for like the fights? I was just getting bored. <laughs> yeah. Like in the in my dorm, like we had towel fights, so we wrapped the towels around our hands, and then we just fight each other till the towels fall off. But then, like, I would also just do dumb shit. Like, I'd go make chlorine bombs <laughs> and just blow up toilets, or like put them in a subway like sandwich and then throw it in the middle of like an assembly and just watch it crumbs go everyone i'm like oh you know what that's probably not okay so what's the process of getting like caught with that stuff do you get taken to the principals right away or like yeah 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 and, and they shit? get they get very angry because i just because like i'm a big string bean so mm-hmm. people are like oh it's harry oh and i streaked that was the that was the one that fucked me that's up. that's sick i wish i could have seen a streak in my high school really yeah I've it was never terrible seen i did it in front of the mayor of the of the town <laughs> oh. at, at the sister college so me and like <laughs> six other guys and like what, like we had Bella Clavers and pink G strings on, and we were hiding, and we thought it was gonna be like a little fucking, like, like the the what are the, the seniors like their like final like meeting, the graduation, yeah, thing. yeah. Oh, yeah. it was just like they're just gonna like say nice, Goodbye. good, good year, like have some tea and biscuits, <laughs> and here's my cock, and then yeah, I fucking run out with the boys, and I'm like, <laughs> they're mad, the principals there, there's police officers, there's the whole school, and I was like, oh fuck this, one of the boys gets tackled. It was game over. He ratted on us. I I wasn't allowed within 200 meters of the school. Terrible. That, that's something Harry you gotta jo- go over before though. If you get caught, you don't you don't <laughs> you rat. Don't you rat. Yeah. yeah. Now nah, they he, they folded. They're fucking rats. Oh, Damn. Fucking Harry yeah. Jowsey, the sex offender. I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but just in Australia though, right? No, nah, New Zealand. Yeah, I'm sweet. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. I think it's done now. Yeah. I yeah. think they actually invited me back. You've to come served. Talk. Your t- you <laughs> can't <come> talk. <laughs> That like awesome. as an influencer, it's like yeah. I got a streak here. Yeah, and now this guy made it. Like, <laughs> like made it. Dude, that is the definition of being fake. Yeah. Like you literally fucking <laughs> indict this dude, and then he gets fuck fucking invited back. Thirty after, million fans on after he gets going, some Come club. on back, yeah, come on back. Let's talk to the kids. Yeah, you still aren't allowed within like two hundred yards of a school or a boat launch, but you can <laughs> <laughs> you can come back and talk whenever you want. That's funny. So, how did you end up over here? Was it like Netflix right away after you got kicked out of New Zealand as well? Um, so I was. I was at university and then I did one TV show and then the next, the Netflix one kind of came about and then I was like, shit, I went back to Australia. Uh, after I went and visited Francesca, I came back and I was like, fuck, like there's no, like I can't pursue this shit here. Like I can't stay in Australia because it's not going to get me to where I want to be. I have to be where the people are. Yeah. I have to be where like the people that I aspire to be live. Like for sure. That's how it is. So I just made the decision within two weeks. I sold all my shit and I was like, cool, I'm going to go to America. I'm going to figure it out. Living in like a hotel for like a, a minute. And then me and my best friend, we finally got an apartment and then just waited, like just literally just hust- hustled until the show aired. And then everything just figured itself out. You were just waiting for like all the f- viewers to come in and stuff like that. But everything. Were, then yeah. were you living off? Cause like you were getting kicked out. So I don't know if, how much money were, were you making like living off the Netflix money until like there everything happened. There was no Netflix money. So no? the, the craziest thing is with reality TV shows is you don't get paid unless you're already like now I'll get paid to go and stuff. But if you're like just yeah. someone who's just, who isn't in this industry whatsoever, then you decide to go on a reality TV show. You won't get paid. It's just not, there's no money unless you win. So the, the winnings usually come once the show airs. So regardless, I went and did this crazy, beautiful show and then no money, nothing, which is fine because yeah, yeah. it's a life-changing experience and then you only get paid once it aired. Okay, so, yeah. I get what you mean. It takes a minute. So what was it like when the first episode aired? And like, were you expecting it to be big or was it, what was the expectations? I was actually watching my, my story because I posted every, every second of what was going on on my close friends and I was watching it back the other day. I was like, damn, this shit was crazy. I remember I had, I think I had like 100,000 followers. And then the day it, the day it aired, first day it dropped, uh, jumped like 40,000. My story views were at 200,000. I was like, damn, this is crazy. And then the next day it just like, 
got bigger and bigger and bigger. And the day I hit a million followers was the day I hit two million. And I was like, this is Whoa, fucked. What? Yeah, it was crazy. It was one of the most bizarre things. For the whole month of April, my story views were at two million consistently. Like it was, <laughs> Damn. It was nuts. So I was like, fuck, I wish I did a podcast so people could understand me more now. That's that's why I'm like doubling down on my podcast is because people don't get me. Like people see 10% of yeah. me on a show because I was being an idiot, playing it up and like doing what I could to be a big impact on the show. And now I'm like, oh, well, I wish I had a podcast so people could like get to know me a little bit better. Know you more as a person. Hear what yeah, you have to say. Yeah, because yeah. this shit is where you have like people like, yeah, they'll walk up to you on the street and be like, oh, damn, like really like know more about your mm -hmm. life and want to talk to you and sit down. And that's what that's what gets me excited. Yeah. And so so when you were filming the show, I mean, you were probably just thinking like, oh, this girl's super hot. Like Ugh. this is like like this, is, like all I see happening from this. Did you I mean, because it went number one trending on Netflix. I mean, it yeah. was I mean, it was it was a insane hit um Smashed you know covid it was right when covid started great like yeah. you know because everybody's at home just binge watching yeah um like did you ever think that 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 like that like that would be like the scope of where that show would go no nah, i like we were, it was meant to come out in december so we were like waiting for that and i was like damn and then we got told it was getting pushed back to april and i was like shit this sucks whatever and then covid happened and i didn't even realize how impactful covid was for this because everyone was at home no one knew what to do and then people just wanted to come like roast us and i was like this is insane like no one could have predicted how much of a lottery that was like that was like legit yeah. winning a lottery that crazy that i mean it was massive like yeah. i can't even explain like what does that even compare to maybe like what happened to the stranger thing yeah. Getting, yeah. right yeah it was, it was legit it was legit nuts like it was it was bizarre because it was number one trending like in every country in the world that netflix mm -hmm. was on i was like this is fucking bizarre like, I, don't, I don't know what's gonna happen if we go like sweden or some weird like random country might be like random fans there that think i can speak their language for sure yeah <laughs> you get dubbed over and they're like yeah yeah netflix, i had some like, german dude speak. he's like i have the german harry i was like shit okay <laughs> oh because he does the voiceover as yeah german. yeah, oh, that's yeah. Funny. That's funny. <laughs> i was like sick that's oh, fucking God. hilarious <laughs> so when you come over how'd you get into like social media afterwards then you blew up and then were yeah people, was everyone trying to vlog with you was that what it was at first um i just my biggest thing is i woke up every day I, I said i'm not gonna say no to anyone i won't say no to anyone and i'll make it work because i was like this is the only month that i'm like you know i feel like when people start blowing up like everyone will collab with them once and then it like dwindles off so i'm like oh, well now i need to like do do my absolute best i didn't understand tiktok actually my friend Kristen was like hey you need to get on tiktok because like you're missing a massive audience and you're funny you should like really figure it out and i was like oh i don't really feel like I don't really care about it. I'm already doing too much with Instagram. Like I was posting every single day because the insights were going nuts. Everything was going crazy. So I was like, you know, I just need to stay consistent. But then once I cracked TikTok, I was like, shit, <laughs> like this is the ticket. Like this, this was fucking, I was legit just, I, po I remember I posted a video because I was trying to figure it out of me pushing the screen. It was like putting piercings in like different spots and it had like half a million likes. I'm like, this is nuts. And then I posted on with my ex and went crazy. And I was like, this is just TikTok was just like the wave and now I'm like really just like I prioritize TikTok over everything. Like it's the best. You can grow the fastest on TikTok. Yeah. It's, so quick. Mm -hmm. it's not and the comment section are always the funniest. Like and they always roast people. And I always get fucked, but I'm like, whatever. It's great. Damn. Great content. So speaking of, dude, so you're just friends with Tana Manju? Yeah, yeah. We've okay. We've never never never, never hooked up with Tana Manju. Never. never done anything. Never been there's I've never even seen her flaps. You've never seen her flaps? Never. never. I've seen a nipple. She's yeah, got kinda, great titties. She's just flashing you or something like that. Yeah, yeah. We're like, because we're always together, so she's always gonna have her titties out yeah. and stuff. Like, I have my like. As soon as I'm at her house, I take my clothes off because I'm taking selfies. Mm -hmm. But she's always got her titties out. So that's the only. That's the furthest it's gone. Plus, she's always got a man. Like, always. There's always some dude there. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah. So does like do people know that? Because I feel like people don't. Know I feel like that. a lot of people think you guys are people you know. think people think I'm lying through my teeth because I lied one time on a fucking you lie. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> such a, you lie yeah, you yeah. lie on social media kind of freak <laughs> kind out. Kind of a lie. <laughs> you're you're but like I feel like I feel like people that have watched the show might know that might know that like you're capping a little bit more than like <laughs> than the fans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, I can name like I could probably think about at least ten times where I see something on like your oh. social media. I'm like, no fucking way. This dude oh. is literally lying straight through his teeth, and it's ridiculous. It's frankly ridiculous. <laughs> the fact he thinks that he can get away with this is oh. fucking crazy. But I feel you know, <laughs> so I every everyone says like the tatted thing. I was like, look, we have to get a lie detector, uh, bro. I've got, I don't gotta feel like I'm so red right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's hot as fuck in here. It's just me. <laughs> it's so I'm sunburned as fuck today. I thought it was a, for some reason. I, I think it's a great idea to go and try and get some sunshine before a podcast, mm. and I just forget that I just go red. 
<laughs> like I just get red and freckly. And I'm like, oh, no, no, it's because you're talking about tanum, tanum. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> but so I mean, so so unknown to the public. Yeah. I mean, you've you've cleared it up now, but I we all thought it. We were all like, oh, this dude. And then there was that shit that happened with Jake Paul oh. and Francesca. But then it's like, okay, how much? Right, right. I'm. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, no, so Jake, then was that, no, Jake never fucked. But it, they, but they did. There was something. Was it? Was no, it not? Julia. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Wait, you Julia fuck, Rose. You fuck Julia Rose? Why is everyone pin me on this? Yeah, we like seeing each other for a minute. Uh, <laughs> no, I, she's gonna, I'm going to get a text from her and she'll be like, oh, shut the fuck up. Really? <laughs> if Julia Rose listens to this podcast, that's fucking awesome. awesome. Uh, Hi, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a free uh, shag mag, please? <laughs> Shout out, Julia. She's great. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you you made the journey here. You're 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 in like social media <laughs> now. Like, wait, wait. Actually, wait. I, I have one more. I have one more thing. Uh, do you ever find so at so I mean at parties or just like gatherings yeah. of people, right? Do you ever find yourself uh, getting into this kind of bad ecosystem of girls that you've slept with in the past uh, that then you don't mm, that they uh. they potentially don't know that you've slept with the other girl, and then like you try and avoid that conversation. Legitimately, ever the worst. But I I feel like I'm very like. Like, I don't care about things until people care about it. So I'm like, whatever, like playful and shit. Because with the OnlyFans agency that I'm with for my OnlyFans, a lot of the girls I'm very familiar with and I've spent some quite some time with a few of them. And so it's like very awkward when they're like, when we get like, when we're out and about and I'm like, oh, I'll flirt with someone else or they'll, they'll text me and be like, oh, just go off and get angry. So it does get awkward, but I just feel like I don't really care like i try and be an adult i'm like look like we had fun but i'm sorry i'm gonna see other people now respectfully yeah. respectfully yeah yeah damn what, what are you doing on your only fans just milk my cock absolutely dry. what, no, really? what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> just straight jerk content yeah. it's like this yeah. with my face in it just be <laughs> grunting you're like you're like holding it with your feet <laughs> I would actually try that. Yeah, you should. No, I I don't do anything bad. Like there's there's nothing, so, nothing crazy. So what, what is it on there? Yeah, what I is mean, it? I feel like the biggest issue with OnlyFans, right? Yeah. Where big people's biggest complaint is, is that it's just Instagram, but you have to pay for it. Is yours well, better? Is yours for for a female viewer or yeah. a gay viewer? Yeah. Is it better than like your Instagram? I'm definitely a little slut on my OnlyFans for sure. Like a, like to put it bluntly, like I definitely like slut it up. Uh, there's shit that i definitely would never post anywhere else i think the biggest thing is is i get to talk to people more intimately and i think that's why people are like oh people get upset where it's like oh the, the shit on your main feed is going to be like instagram content because no one really knows what goes on in the dms that's where like you make it because that's where you get intimate with people that's where you get to know people a little bit more personal and you can send them the type of shit that they want to see mm-hmm. whereas like the main feed is like just whatever shit mumbo yeah. jumbo so yeah. Damn, because I know a lot of people who do OnlyFans whose managers run all that stuff for them. Are you the one? You're the one messaging. Yeah, well, I'm, we're in there. We're going crazy. It's fucking. It's fun. Like it's it's lit. Really good. And I I try and go live like every other day on there. And that that's just yeah. fun. But you people get a little bit too horny, like way too horny. I'm like, come on, man. My fucking roommates behind me. <laughs> what do they <laughs> ask just, you? What's the crazy thing you've asked for on OnlyFans? The, uh there's just there's people just it's the weird shit. Like there's. There was this real, oh, there's this real funky weird one <laughs> where this dude was like, I want you to wear a Yeezy on your left foot and a black sock on your right, and nice. I want you to take a photo of your, f-. and I was like, dude, if this is for a YouTube video and you're <laughs> clowning me, I'm going to be so pissed. Like, I'm going to be so upset, but I just filmed it. I did get my face in it because I was like, this is bizarre. Like, who wants a Yeezy and a black sock? No, there's some creeps out there. They like you ever watch like the like the Pornhub comments or oh, read them? Great. It's, it's Pornhub like, comments. I'm, genu- I'm that guy. They're genuinely. You're the guy in the comments. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> loved loved this video. <laughs> would appreciate if you would adjust the camera angle about two <laughs> two <laughs> degrees to the left. It's like I'm Nodi Gang. <laughs> Well, it's like, uh, wait, do you, do you actually comment on Pornhub? No way. No. Because like the thing is, it's like who is actually taking time out of the day to type with one of their hands, mm-hmm. and then you know, you know they're typing with one of their hands. Who's taking time out of the day to then do that? And so, when in the session of your jerk off, yeah, do you figure it out? Maybe it's after when you get post night clarity, where you're just like, you know what, mm. I didn't appreciate that camera angle and his hairy belly. Figure yeah. it out. 
Close nah, that clarity, sense. you just fucking turn off the phone and just put it away and clean up. Yeah, yeah. I always feel bad. I'm like, I'm disgusting. Yeah. What's your, get that away from I can't me. believe what I just watched. Yeah. What's, so like, so in, in terms uh, of post not clarity, have you ever have you ever just been like, what the fuck did I just do? Yeah, yeah. I, I asked this girl. I told her I wanted to get her pregnant, have her kids, and marry her. And I was like, please, like I love you. And then once I came, I was like, yo, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like that was not me. Like straight up, like that was not me. And I'm so sorry. That doesn't need to happen for a while, and I don't love you. And then th- she started crying, and I was like, "Oh, f- I didn't mean to say it like that, but I just." Dude, that's to do even that's worse. Mo- that has to yeah. be the most yeah. aggressive post night clarity. You literally snapped out of like a romantic fever dream. You're like, I was, I was angry because I thought she was fucking someone, someone else. So I drove to her house, and I was like, "Damn, like I'm really into you. Like I think I love you." And then she's like, "Really? You had passionate sex?" And I was like, no, "I don't actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't." You just all. slapped like a reverse, you know, card down yeah. the table and just death. I was like, "Shit, nah. Actually, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that, but yeah." So was that was that like pre pre internet fame? No, no, I, this was, that, was recent. Yeah, this is this like, like what last like, week, a couple months ago. Yeah, oh. before I found out she was doing some freaky shit. So I was like, you know what, dude, that's violent. That, yeah, that's wow. like like I, that. I don't like, even know if I have the balls to say that. Nah, I'd be like, I'm just a piece of shit. To be I'd honest. probably like text afterwards. Yeah. Be like, I don't actually love you. That's a violent post not clarity though. That's like yeah. that's like you like drive home and you like listen to fucking like little peep or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know. I just. <laughs> I don't know what goes on in my head sometimes. Mm. Sometimes, because I just don't think most of the time. I'm just, I just go with the flow and then I get in situations like that and then they just sit there upset. Yeah. You, you said earlier that like, you were, I don't know if you're joking, but you're like, I don't really value sex. What, like, is that true? Like, what that got you to that before point? before the show. Before? Now I value it. It's great. Like, I, va- like, I value, like, uh, I'm, I'm into, like, I'm at a point where I'm not, like, I don't really give a fuck about one night stands anymore. It's more about, because I've realized that I'll be hooking up with people and, there's energy transfers that go on and a lot of people that have a lot of baggage going on it really like drains me and i feel fucking tired and like sad so i've been like pulling myself away from mm. sex that doesn't have like any sub like with the person has no substance or anything like that if it's just sex because i'm like whatever don't need that it's la you can it's like ordering uber eats like it's sex is crazy here so i'm trying to like pull away from that type of like whatever sex to it like also helps have, when you're having sex with the hottest girls in the world. Yeah, yeah and you can also I mean, like, Netflix come on. credit <laughs> out mean, at them. Come on. You. That's like <laughs> saying, you can get <laughs> Uber Eats of sex problem. in LA and it's if not you have just, a Netflix show. Uh, it's not McDonald's Uber, no, Uber no, Eats. No, no, no. It's, uh, literally, uh, it's literally going to uh, Boa Steakhouse, Nobu, <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, yeah, so. So like, oh, of course it's good. Come on. You've got to be joking. Like, this is like, you're like saying, oh, yeah, like. No, yeah, I used to not like sex, but now it's pretty great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, there's like, couple, <laughs> literally the hottest girls in the world. Yeah, there's been some, there's been some baddies. It's pretty great. What, has, there been, has there been any scares, though? Like any like transfer of like little herp or like <laughs> oh. crabbies? No, there hasn't. Everyone, really? like, because I, I, I take my time when I'm down there and I'm like checking. So yeah, I think like a guy like you that, like, you know. Fucks up, you know. <laughs> like you, I usually, like you'd have to worry about crabs or like you know herpes from somebody. Yeah, nah. Um, I I usually wrap up because I have my own condom line, so I'm like, you know. Oh really? Yo, yeah. Send some of those yeah, over send, here. Yeah, <laughs> send, bring, bring those over, my boy. <laughs> I don't think they'll fit you. Yeah, they're for normal I'm, guys. I'm pretty, I'm pretty massive. Them. Somebody told men I'm pretty massive. I'm pretty massive. <laughs> Yeah. You gotta take that as a compliment. I know, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take that like, as I mean, a I'm s- clipping that. <laughs> <laughs> Harry so, Jazzy told me he uh, assumed I have a big dick. <laughs> so, uh, Sorry. so wait, before, when you're saying before the show you didn't value it, what caused you to kind of not value it? Was it like something when you're younger growing up? I just didn't care, bro. Like, I was out, I'd be with the boys, I'd just hook up with whoever. I didn't care how it made them feel. I didn't care about my, like, consequences. And then I went on the show and I really started, like, I fell in love with Francesca. Like, I was head over heels for her. So I realized that, like, sex with her was so much better and it meant a lot more, like, inside that I was like, fuck, like, this other stuff doesn't matter. And, like, my actions affect other people. So I need to take a step back. And then it got to that point and now it's, like, at a, completely like more like spiritual level where i'm like trying to like yeah. learn more about people's like brains and like what's going on and how they how they interact and stuff like that is before getting involved with penis and vagina yeah yeah, yeah. is there other things about your life that's changed at the same time because i don't know if you don't mind me saying this but you said you were having you've been sober for a while now yeah like, is that part of it too it's just um I, yeah because unrelated when the when the show aired like i was going out i was like trying to network i was trying to meet as many people as i could 
and doing my thing. And then I realized that I was getting pulled more and more away from the person that I wanted to be. And like I was get, be, getting pulled away from my goals, my dreams, my ambitions. I was like, damn, like I came here to be like a positive impact and like trying to make people laugh. And like that was my goal. And I'm, now I'm just getting drunk and I'm not working on content. I'm not doing anything. I'm just like trying to get fucked up and have a good time. So when it came New Year's, I just decided on the first day of the year i was like this is stupid i'm just gonna not do anything until i figure it out and now i'm like i'm playing i'm probably gonna drink on my birthday at the end of this month but then apart from that i just don't really give a fuck like i was like whatever like it's not because i always bro i wake up the next day and i'll feel like a bag of dicks i'll like like go crazy on uber eats and i'll just be slumped for like two or three days and i feel whack so i'm like you know what this is not who I want to be. Yeah, I get that. I, I, I don't like from the outside perspective. I feel like when you first came, we're filming everyone. Yeah, that was kind of like who you were. But then when your podcast started coming out, all your uh, content started. There was like a change in the way that you were viewing, like what you were doing. Yeah, and I, I think I'm more passionate about it now. Whereas before, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna do it for whatever. Yeah. But now I'm like, you know, like I really fucking enjoy making people laugh. I really enjoy like sitting down and like getting involved with this whole process and creating shit that like people really fuck with. So I was like, you know yeah. what, like the the only thing that's going to slow me down is myself. So I just need to focus, put 110% into this. That's epic. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break and pay the bills. Uh, I want to give a huge uh, thank you to one of our sponsors, which is Bird Dogs. Bird Dogs is this great athletic short company. Um, they have, we've recently started working with them, and they are literally the best shorts that you can possibly buy. Oh, I think uh, what are we doing? we're doing the three for right now. we got Ethan has them on, Kai has Wait, them on. Who's sitting right there on the other side of this ad read right now? Uh, who do we have? We have Clara on. Oh, she who even is- came on because Bird Dogs are so great. Um, her and Chris are friends. Uh, and I won't. Well, and the only reason why Chris and her are friends is because Chris wore b- bird dogs when yeah, they that's met. That's true. So, Claire, tell me, did, what did you? What did you? Dogs. Why are you with Chris now over the bird dogs? Like, what did you notice about it? It's because the bird dogs. Are <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Yeah. Did you notice like he had like it, what, he was able to be athletic? The bulge was showing. Everything was showing. Everything right. Was there. It's great. It's great. So Thank great. You. So I'm so glad that we just got that content for Bird Dogs um, because it just really perfectly embodies how great uh, the shorts actually are. You can wear them in summer. You can wear them yeah, in winter. Even Chris gets late. <laughs> 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 uh, what are you feeling over here, buddy? I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is like, so Perfect, don't get up, don't get up. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, is that bird dogs have built in underwear so they would perfectly hide Chris's massive erection. Yeah. So that is why we love bird dogs. They're the best shorts that we could possibly ask for. So use our code, the sink, on birddogs.com to be entered in a giveaway and to also receive a free pair of ventilated shoes with your purchase. Whoa. So use code, the sink, to be entered in a giveaway and to receive a. Wait, you get a free sh- shoe? Yeah, you get free ventilated shoes. Wait, I didn't Wh- even know that. What the what? fuck? You, were you guys not listening I, the last no, time? Oh, okay. No, what's the code? One more time. What's the code? Look, they're right here. Yeah, there they are. Oh. oh. Ventilated shoes. I, I cut it out. They look exactly like bleep, but they are <laughs> bird dogs, and they are so much better. So use Don't our code desync on birddogs.com to be entered in a giveaway and to receive a free pair of shoes with your purchase. All right, all right. Let's keep it going. We want to thank our next sponsor. All right, let's keep it going. Right, let's keep it going. We want to thank we your, next your next sponsor. Right, let's keep it going. We want to thank your next sponsor, Headspace. Headspace is awesome because it's it's you know people tell you about like meditation has crazy perks, but it's also hard to get into the zone. You know, ground yourself, especially when you don't have a- have access. You know, a quiet environment, a quiet room. It allows you to log in and check out all these videos. They're three minutes long, and they basically are quick uh, meditation videos. They oh, have yeah. these different voices, different characters, uh, different actors actually voicing these videos. It's an amazing way to just lock in and ground yourself. I mean, it's literally helped you so much because like we talked about last time, Kai was literally the most uptight person I've ever met in my entire life. Seriously. And literally, (laughs) I I, I literally gave him the Headspace code that we received and he's been using it and he's been absolutely loving it. And the team has been loving it as well. I I feel myself getting wound up sometimes. My head's going crazy. And then when when it's when you log in, you hear the soothing voice. It tells you to chill out. Think about what is around your surroundings. It allows me to kind of... It's, it's that feeling of anxiety and just like extreme, like just rush to do things. It allows you to sit down, calm down, it, be it more feels efficient. Like if you, there, if stuff you were done. curled up into the ball, it's like someone's taking a crank yeah. and just slowly yeah. unwind. Exactly. You know, you yeah. know, like video games like soothe people, but now yeah. I can use Headspace. It's kind of like a version of so. Beam to go to a therapist, but actually Beam to talk to yourself, True. log in, and have this 30, 30 second meditation. So, guys, you deserve to feel happy, and Headspace is meditation made simple. Go to headspace.com slash the sink. That's headspace.com slash the sink. Uh, for one month free trial with access to Headspace, it's full library of meditation for every situation. That is the best deal offered right now. Head to headspace.com slash the sink today. You can't go check it. it out. You're literally you feeling stressed it. out, anxiety, this is the best place to go. Headspace go check slash it out. the sink. Headspace.com. Today's episode is brought to you by Manscaped, our go-to go. for below-the-waist grooming products. Manscaped, new product alert. 
Wing, ding, 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 Sound of sirens. Yeah, yeah. It's time to stop, drop, and order this brand new shaving kit that they just launched. Introducing the Ultra Smooth Package, a specialized groin shaving kit to help you buff, protect, and smooth your most sensitive areas. You gotta, you know, ask the people that yeah. use how does it work? You just use the shaving cream and it makes your balls super smooth. It's like a lather you put on it top. Works. Nothing likes like rough balls after you shave. It allows you to, it, it feels, it feels comfortable. like you have a safe cloak around your nuts. Exactly. And they even have, it, so it's like a crop exfoliator pretty much. So they have a crop exfoliator and a shaving cream. I mean, so yeah. the exfoliator literally makes your balls like mm. a baby's nuts. Yeah. And do. if you know anything about girls, you know they love texture. So you need that smooth, perfect True. texture. True. True facts. Right. Facts. Facts. So, so the way we see it is, guys, we did not know the importance of having actual hygiene when it comes to your nutsack and really keeping it clean and how Especially big of a difference high. it makes when you use Manscaped, right? Yeah, and what we're talking about is their new crop shaver, crop exfoliator, and crop gel. It's time to crop that bush of yours and get right to the roots 100%. with a discount code just for you. Get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.co. Get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com with the code the sink. The sink. The Go sink check it thing. out. Code the sink. Go check right it out. back it's into it. Awesome. But you had like the crazy time of TikTok. Like yeah. when summer, everyone was blowing up. I but but I just think no one, no one like sat down and thought about it. Like I told all my content, like all the people that I was with on my mm -hmm. show, I'm like, yo, like the, the only way you're going to survive this 15 minutes of fame is if you diversify. Like if you get a platform or not only, uh, if you get like an audience on not only one platform, like you, that's the thing is, that's the only way you're going to survive is if you're seen in more than one spot. Yeah. And I was telling them, I'm like, yo, like with marketing, whenever I'm selling a product, you have to have like seven points of contact with the customer before they buy. So it's the same situation with this is you have to try and be in as many places as possible before like they like before your fans and like followers like actually really fuck with you and like yeah. ride or die, like know you in and out. So I was just like, I told them all this shit. I'm like, yo, double down on TikTok. Some of them like saw it but didn't really fuck with it. Now I'm telling them like go on reels, like reels is pumping everything. They're like no one's really, I'm just like, fuck, I may as well be talking to a wall. It, it does feel like that. Cause like, you know what the answers are and everyone's asking you what are the answers and yeah. you say it, but that answer is like work hard on TikTok. And they're like, of course I have to do that. I'm like, just do it. It's, it's, it's TikTok. It's great. And I'm like, look, we're influencers. We're reality TV rejects. What else? What else are we doing? Yeah. Just film, just hit the renegade a couple times throughout the day. Just film that shit. Yeah. And they're like all attractive, aren't they? So like it's yeah. kind of easy. If the, it's easier. We got a leg up over here. Exactly. <laughs> just like. You got, a, you got an extra leg over there. <laughs> <laughs> how many, how many, how oh, many. Yeah. of Harry Jowsey saying Chris is how fucking hung. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, how many, uh, how many uh, Harry Jowsey big black cock jokes can be made on this podcast? <laughs> I have like, like, like a bicycle still, right? Here. Just like lean on it. Michael Chris Jackson. is doing the uh, Michael Jackson smooth criminal. <laughs> you just have his fucking tripod just right down. Just hold him up. <laughs> it's going to be a... <laughs> That's gonna be like the best clips on yeah. the uh, yeah. I'm gonna get fucked for that. <laughs> That's hey, man. Harry Sus. <laughs> Harry Sus. Dude, it's, it's, it's one of those things. Sus jokes. I don't know. They're they they're coming back. Sus jokes so are yeah, trending are. right now. They a used to be. Aiden Ross has just nailed it. He's like, you know, yes. like I'm just gonna double down on the sus shit. Yeah, it's working. I want to fuck Polo G, and like, he just says that. Dude, he almost got. He almost got hit. Oh. He almost got hit up for that one. That was not good. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, because because Polo G's Polo G's actually with it, right? In the um. You know, like he his uh, his rap and all that is an extension of his reality mm. where, you know, they don't I, I don't know. I don't want to speak on his behalf, but I don't know how much they're they're fucking with the sus shit. The, yeah, the sus and, jokes um, they don't fuck with. Because some of them that are hard, like real yeah. rappers, and then they get like, yeah, I want to suck them off. And it's like funny, the, the audience, but then they can't be like laughing at it. They also got to be like, what the fuck did you just say to me? Damn. Because because yeah. they have to because in, you know, in like the streets and stuff like that, they have to uphold that. Um, Damn. And so that's that's what no I no one's getting sucked off in the streets. <laughs> no, I, I don't I don't know. It depends on the streets. Though. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my streets. Everyone's getting sucked <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, uh, me and Tad's streets are way different than those streets. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. I mean, I, you know, it tends to vary a little bit. Uh, <laughs> it tends to, vary, and it also depends on who you're getting sucked off by. Yeah, um, very uh, true. Depending on how acceptable it is and yeah. uh, stuff like that, it depends on the area. <laughs> yeah. But that will, that's what makes his content so funny, though, because like he will do this sus stuff towards people that you yeah. would never think of, and it makes it ten times better. Oh, and props to Aiden, sure. man. He he um he's nailed it. Well, he he doesn't change, right? Like yeah. that just shows yeah. that he literally didn't switch up on someone that maybe you could act like harder, act whoever you know, like around this guy. But props to him. He he literally kept his uh, his character, or, you know, whatever he's doing. Yeah, exactly. he kept it up with smashed him. Smashed it. Oh, crazy. And it got so many views. Oh, it did so well. I saw his live with Tory Lanez as well. And Tory oh. Lanez like, oh, you're the funniest motherfucker. He's like, 
come over. It's like, man, <laughs> Tori, was like, Tori Lane's like, hey, yo, like, what? <laughs> or uh, or uh, Lil Yachty was on, um, he was he was on, like, a college Zoom. Have you have you done any of those? No, nah, no, yeah. Dude, you, uh, your no, college I'm, girls would fucking love that. Bowl. I like, want to go to a college. I have yeah, a, a sorority. Oh, try, try San Diego State University. <laughs> no, we, we take, we should take him to, like, all the, like, USC, UCLA, yeah, San I, Diego. I really want to go. I just don't here, know. Here, come here. How to go. Here, next, next, year, next, like a next year, I'll <laughs> take you, next year, I'll take you to my college. I'll, I'll, I'm sure, I'm sure you'll plenty of girls will be yeah, super, ever seen World super War stoked to see you. You ever seen World War Z? <laughs> just drops here in the middle climbing. of the campus, just running, <laughs> climbing up the wall. Is really that. that bad? No, no, hey, no, no. Like World no. War Z. Have you ever have you seen World War Z? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know when they're like climbing up the wall? Yeah, it'll be girls flocking to you. No, it is. That oh, crazy. to me. Yeah. 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 Like, I'm, I'm like, damn. Like, <laughs> college is really crazy. <laughs> Yo, yeah. No, no, no. They'll be they'll be very stoked to see you. Wow. Um, but yeah. So what what I was saying is uh, on Lil Yachty was uh, you know he was doing like a presentation or whatever on Zoom yeah. for uh, you know all these college people. And then he FaceTimes Aiden Ross. And then Aiden Ross, he like shows the camera and he's like, did, did, uh, did like you tell him about the time we fucked? <laughs> oh, <laughs> and he's like on, uni- like he's on like <laughs> university. <laughs> <laughs> and then Lil Yachty's face is like, it's like, I fucking knew I should have put him on this. <laughs> Right. Right. So, and he does it every time. Yeah. It's so it doesn't funny. give a fuck. It's so good. So, do you want to visit like an American college, like like yeah, university? Bro. What are the big things in America that maybe you saw like in Australia that you want to experience? Project X. That's right? shit. That, like that's, that's, that's the America I want to see. Like yeah. I want to see everyone like sororities and frat. Like I really want to go to a frat. I don't know if it would be like a good time or like the worst decision ever. Like I just don't know because I've be never been. So yeah. definitely, you're gonna have to not be sober anymore. Really? Um, so it's gonna have to. I mean, you can go sober, but like, if you go, if if you take like a break day, don't heaps people get roofied. At, I mean, they you, wouldn't be roofing you. I mean, yeah, maybe well, I've been I've been drugged before. Re- What's the story? You've been drugged twice before? by what happened? Gu- by a guy or girl. Ah, uh, guys, I got fucking jumped and robbed. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh, Wait, tell, tell us the story. What the? Fuck? No, it was it was actually like fucked up. No, that's super out of pocket. <laughs> tell us about yeah, that. No, what, what happened? It was bad. Uh, so I was. <laughs> it was <laughs> bad, dude. It was just bad. <laughs> no, this is how I deal with shit. I just laugh. Um, <laughs> so I was living in England when I was eighteen, and I went to this place called Notting Hill Festival, Notting Hill Carnival, some shit. And um, one of the guys that I was with was like, yo, like at after like a certain amount of time, it gets like very violent and gangland. So you want to leave? And I was like, okay, cool. And then anyway, I got split up from the group. Long story short, I made these friends. Everyone was like a vibe. They had like the girls there, uh, like sisters, brothers, like everyone was like sick. And, I, and they were like helping me trying to find my friends. My friends left me because like, yeah, yeah. it was past that time. So I'm like, you know, what? I'm going to get you guys a drink for looking after me. I'm about to head to the train station. So we start walking. And then I hear this bottle break behind me and I turn around and there's this guy running and then he just gets smacked from back back of the head and then this dude just pulls out a knife and just starts dicing him up in the middle of the street like like what 20 times fuck? to the point where this dude like got up, fell over and there was cops there. They just turned around and walked away. So there was like six dudes like beating the fuck out of this guy but there's one guy just shanking the fuck out of him and then he got up, fell over and then I'm pretty sure he died but I just turned away. I was like, I can't see that. Yeah. Like I, was, oh, I had a few drinks as well. Anyway, I was like, you know what? This is crazy. Let's go get a drink. Get a drink after. Get a drink after. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and well, and I mean, if you see that sober, right? Yeah, you're yeah, you're like, like, oh my I fucking god! Yeah. I, oh, I just wow. didn't know how to process it. Like, I still don't. I'm like, damn. Like, I saw someone get murdered. Like, whatever. I don't want to. Like, I just don't really know how to process it. So, I'm like, sure. kind of, it's just like seems like a weird dream. Anyway, we're like walking, and then we go to this like weird little <laughs> store, and I was like, hey, let's get some Smirnoffs, like for the boys. Everyone, I think I ordered three because <laughs> no, one, no, one, like, like some of the girls and stuff weren't drinking. I had one, one of the boys had one, another boy had one. That was it. Don't remember a thing. Just remember waking up in the middle of a bush, no shoes, my wallet was empty, my phone was gone, all I had was my credit card, my belt was gone, I was beat up and my shirt was like ripped up. Whatever they gave me, I was so fucked up that I thought I was back home in Australia. And I was like, damn, what a night. I was like, started knocking on this door. I was like, yo, mom, let me in. Like, what the fuck's going on? And this dude comes in. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, get off my porch. Whoa, and shit. I was like, oh, shit. Sorry, I thought I was at home. He's like, you're not at fucking home. Get the fuck out before I beat the fuck out of you. I was like, damn. It was, and I was like, sweet. Okay, cool. And I started like walking and it was like, I think it was like 12. It was like 12.30 or 11.30. It was like really late at night at this point. So I, I'm like from the hours, like 4.30 till that time. I have no memory. Don't know what happened. Don't know how I got there. Don't know what the fuck went on. And you're sleeping through the day? And now it's 12? Or? No, no. Uh, so like it was 4.30 in the afternoon okay. till, till like 12 at night. And anyway, I, I managed to make my way back to the train station. And whatever they gave me, I just kept coming in and out. Like oh, I remember my, my memory and like my consciousness just kept coming in and out. So I got on the train. 
And I sat down and I'm like trying to like figure it out. And someone looked at me like, you, are you okay? And I was like, nah, I don't know what the fuck's going on. And then because the day it was it, like, it was the next day. It, it, this was the last train, by the way, the next day. And it was a public holiday. So we're like on the train. And that means like all the cabs, like everything's like double the price. Everything sucks. Like it's a lot harder to get like a, a car. I, I'm on this train. I know where my stop is. And then bang, I just fucking passed out again. And I'm like, what the fuck? I woke up and this guy's like, get off the fucking train. And I'm like, where am I? I'm two and a half hours where I'm not meant <laughs> to be. Like, oh, but, wow. Yeah, I made it to the last stop. And I was like, damn, I got out with no sh- like nothing and no cash. And I was like, because in England, they only take like cash and stuff and they don't take credit cards for the taxis. Yeah. So I was like, hey, bro, like this is where I need to be. This is what's happened. Like, can you please take me? And he's like, no, nah, it's like double the price. And I had no money. So I was like, take me to an ATM. I'll withdraw anything I have and I'll just give it to you. And I had like, I think I had like 160 pounds. He took it all. I had no money. So I like finally got back to where I was staying. I got in. Everything was cool. But the next day was one of the most bizarre feelings because I stood up and I was like, damn, I have to get ready for work. And I started walking and it felt like a depth charge just went off in my brain. Like it felt like, there was like an implosion in my head. And then I like woke up and I was on the floor again. I was like, what the fuck? I stood up and I started walking and then it happened again. I was on the floor again. I'm like, damn, like maybe I got some sort of brain damage from whatever the fuck happened. Happened and then I fell down the stairs and I was at the bottom of the stairs. I was like, this is just weird. And then it got less and less and less. And then by the time when I went to work, like I saw the boys and I was like, guys, like you really fucked me. Like I'm 18. I've never been here before. Like you guys have been in this carnival like a handful of times and like I really, really got fucked up. And then the second time, was uh, oh the worst part is i had because for some reason i thought it was a good idea to keep all the cash that i was earning on me because i didn't really know where to put it so like i was working in a bar so i had like 400 pounds of the money that i saved because i was trying to do my thing on me and i lost all of that so i was like fuck this sucks but wow. the second time i was in i uh, was wait, 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 in, the people that you said like they you fucked them were they the ones that drugged you no 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 no, no, no. no they, they were my fr- i told them and they felt bad like oh damn we're so sorry like we didn't uh, the, uh, the people the because because cause you, because you lost them earlier in the night. Yeah, yeah, I lost. Oh, but the the people that I had to drink with, I found them on Facebook. I was like, yo, like that was horrible. Why would you do that to someone? Yeah. And they're like, bro, we thought you drugged us. One of the guys woke up with a broken arm. Another one woke up butt naked on the what underground. What the fuck? Like just completely so naked. Was it, so, so, what so, so was it the so girls then? Bar, maybe. No, no, no. It was the people that gave us the drinks for sure. Because they were like, who, like they must have just like seen us and be like, you know, like the, these guys are just easy, easy just, targets. Like, easy yeah, targets. Money. And like I'm, um, you know, a six Damn. five dude drinking a Smirnoff ice. So people, oh, you guys say Smirnoff, or whatever the fuck you guys say here. Not Smirnoff. 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 Yeah. Smirnoff. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. But they're I was like, terrible. They're fu- Horrible, Fuck Smirnoff horrible. Ice. But um, oh no, please sponsor the podcast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. Smirnoff Ices are meant to only be <laughs> just like hazed upon you by your friends on your birthday. Besides that, never drink. So it. what? What type of what was that? To so like where you're like falling in and out of consciousness? Is that, is I that got, a roofie or like? I got no idea. It must have been some funky shit because everyone I was like talking about it was just like, oh no, nah, you must have been like really fucked up. I was like, no, there's a big difference between being drunk. And whatever the fuck they gave Going me. Going to different dimensions. And shit. Yeah. And I also was just like, I got to a point where I just stopped talking about it because I was like, oh, well, I'm glad it happened to me than anyone else in my group because I know how to deal with it. But if, say, if it was a girl or say it was someone, I would just feel fucking horrible. So I'm like, cool, whatever. I'll just shut up and figure it out. But the second time was in Amsterdam. And that, oh. shit, that shit was fucking weird. That shit was so bizarre. I remember... We we fin- we had a massive we had a monster night like I was I was looking terrible yeah just it friends ha- Halloween it was so bad and we, we were walking past this bar and these the girls that were with because it was American co- co- American college girls that, that were traveling and I was like sweet we had a really cool group and um, went into this bar and these dudes were just like dancing but like trying to tip their beers on the girls and I and they were like they're like Harry can you say something and I'm like damn like hey, bro, like, I really don't appreciate, like, the girls are feeling very uncomfortable, like, it's fucking 4 a.m., like, let's relax, have a cheeky beer, and, like, chill out, and he's like, oh, don't worry, bro, have this beer, I'm sorry, and I was like, oh, thank you, sweet as, and he's like, how fast can you drink it, I was like, pretty fast, boom, (laughs) (laughs) down it went, bro, I'm in a Superman suit with long hair, and then I'm like, (laughs) A pa- and I don't remember th- so I had that and I was like shit alright feeling funky and then the girl said the next day they're like oh you were adamant that you were not leaving these people you were so adamant and I only had one video on my phone where I was like filming myself I was like these guys can speak this language 
bah, 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 and I was like yelling at my phone. <laughs> and then and then one of them was like, yeah, let's take this guy. And the other one was like, no, 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 don't worry about him. You heard that in the video? It's in the video, yeah. Holy, Holy fuck. fuck. And then anyway, the only other memory I have was just me running and holding my neck. Like I was just holding my neck, just sprinting and crying. Like I was running through the like, streets of Amsterdam holding my neck like for some reason i thought someone think, put a knife to it do you think someone like choked you out or something like nah, nah, nah. I, for, f- the the, on, the only traumatic thing that i can remember is that there was a knife put to it that's what i Ooh. that's the only thing i remember is i, I thought i was going to die in that moment so i was like oh my running God. like screaming and crying yeah. sprinting and then i jumped up and like was like hiding on this like little cafe thing uh beside uh, one of the canals and I was like fuck I'm gonna jump in I'm just have to get in and like get away that's how people die there yeah the, bro, I, and I was like sit, I was like looking at it for like five minutes I was like fuck I could really just jump I could really just jump in and figure and it was freezing oh it was so God. cold but I'm like hiding behind like there was like little like coffee tables and like chairs and shit and I'm like hiding and I had them like barricaded up a little bit and I'm like damn I was like fuck it I'm just gonna fight these dudes like whatever they have like I don't, I don't care I'd rather fight them than fucking drown so I like jumped down the street and there was no one. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? No one was around me. There, I was like, I could, there wasn't even a fucking whisper of anyone. I was like, this is bizarre. So then I don't remember a thing, but I just started running again. All I remember is just sprinting. And then once I got back to the hostel, the girls were saying that I was like so anxious and like a- amped up that I, like, I was like, I need to pee, but I can't pee. So I was like looking behind me. I was like so scared. So this girl... It's holding my dick while I'm peeing. <laughs> Apparently, I peed for like five minutes while I'm like checking my back, like turning around. It was one of the craziest things ever. And I was like, damn, I had no idea what happened or what, damn. what they were trying to achieve. Isn't that crazy how you can be, how like, I mean, in your case, you were drugged. Yeah. You can be so fucked up to where like you don't even know what's going on. But when you get mm. to like a near death experience, mm. it's somehow, it's somehow, not even, but like it still yeah. didn't really even sober you up, but it got you to a point to where that's the only thing you remember. It's yeah. crazy. And crazy. nobody, nobody wow. else, I mean, I've, Nobody else yeah. like experiences that, right? Like, I mean, the closest thing I've had to like a near death experience is like, you know, car crashes and stuff like that. We're like, whoa, yeah, but, you it's know, like, like different country. Like, yeah, I walked back nuts. to my hostel at like one in the morning in the streets of Amsterdam. It's a yeah. scary place because unless nuts. you're in the center, everything else is kind of like sketchy. There's yeah. the dark corners, everything's it's bizarre, fun. but yeah, it was it was weird. And I also got pickpocketed as well, which was funny because I was like, this guy's like, oh my god, I saw you at the club, hugged me, and I was like, all right, cool. I hugged him, and I'm like, damn, where's my phone and my wallet. Son and then I finally bitch. got, I was like, bro, I'm going to get you in the canal. And he's like, oh, I was really joking. I was like, blah, fuck. I was like, I want to do that. that Damn, it, wow. That sucks that you can't trust anybody. Because there's like been times where it's like, hey, you want a shot? I'm like, I'll take that. I think, you know? I think where, like, there's probably places where you can't, like, there's definitely, wherever you go, like, if you're with good people. But I was like traveling Europe by myself. And I was being reckless. Like, I thought I was invincible. Like, I'd go out and if someone wanted to fight me, I'd just fight them. Yeah. Like, I thought I was invincible. So I just think, like, if you're going to travel, just be smart and, like, be with people and good people. Just yeah. don't be, like, f- like an idiot like me, like, traveling the world by myself trying to figure it out. Yeah. You just have friends that can fight really well. Yeah. It, it's crazy when you're, like, you're not at home because then you feel like you're invincible. Like, nobody's going to, yeah. like, I have no connects back home. So if I'm fighting now, I'm fucking fighting. Yeah. Or, like, anything. Yeah. Gladiator wow. shit. <laughs> For real. Damn. Damn. Did you see the, uh, did you go to the red light district there? It's oh. nuts, isn't it? Crazy. I almost... I almost had sex. You almost had sex with me? I know, I almost me too. I, I got so scared. I walked up to the door and I was, and then and they like point at you, right? And they yeah, wave they at like you. They like start dragging you in. And then yeah. I, then I freaked out and I was like, I'll change your life. And then she's like, excuse me. And I was like, we, we don't need to do this. I'll change your life. We could do anything. I'll take you anywhere. And she punched me in the head. We've Bang. All, all you said, oh, yeah, that's the one talks. thing you probably don't say to a, to yeah, a prostitute. Yeah. <laughs> for, if I walked up to her. I looked in the eyes. I was like, let me change your life. Like, I'll help me. Like, let me help you. You could be a school teacher. You don't need to do all this. And bro, because I was drunk and 18 and I, this is the most beautiful woman I've ever saw. I, really, I, I was like, I'll take you back to Australia, please. Bang. Punch me in the head. Bloody nose. I was like, ah, what the fuck? And then the, the pimp or whatever would come out and just grab me. He's like, get the fuck out. And I was like, Phew. yes, it's, sir. It's crazy because like, you can't have like a normal conversation with a stripper or like a prostitute because like, I like I, I got my like I had my lap dance at like eighteen and I had like awkward <laughs> lap <talks> dance. <laughs> like you have awkward talks. It's like tell okay, the story. Like, cause, like, no, <laughs> no, that is not meant to ever we, be seen anywhere. We'll tell that afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you're like you're just like there, right? This nice grown woman just grinding up on you, but like you want to know her backstory. It's like is her main purpose is grinding up on me? Like, but that's I, but that's where you've lost. And let's see, the thing is, you've lost at that point because at the end of the day, sober. it's. Well, okay, but I'm oh. saying at the end of the day, the main objective is, right, sex sells, you have money, they have sex. Anyway, she's completely sold you, and now you're a <laughs> fucking lifetime member, because the thing <laughs> is, at the end of the day, she's gotten so deep into your mind, she hasn't even talked to you, she's just thrown her ass on your dick, 
and you're giving her more money. You know what's crazy, right? So there's like a $47 thing to buy the girls some drinks, right? There's no drinks at the strip club. I literally spent $47 for nothing. I was like, hey, the, the, the bouncer guy was like, hey, you want to buy her a drink? You know what I'm saying? Like, you a drink? Like, yeah, sure. Like, I spent $47 on a cup of Coke. <laughs> it's a false narrative, Chris. It's the, it's the yeah, idea. You don't, you don't trust Like, me. she's, you really think that, know. like, <laughs> you're going to get this girl drunk and no, no, maybe no, be able no, to no. break her out the club. No, no, <laughs> Never. no, no, not Break that. her out the club. <laughs> like, obviously. Pull the truck around back. <laughs> it's going to be fucking Indiana it's Jones. A, you're Chris, you're riding the motorcycle fucking lasso and bitches. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, you yeah. come with me. You come with me. No. We're going back to my fucking dad's house. No, it's more of just like a nice gesture. It's like, okay. May, you know, strippers, you never know what they see all day, right? You want to give them a drink and be nice. Yeah. They see a lot Very of true. dudes just like you. <laughs> yeah, they, they see a lot of gobble fucks. Just, uh, <laughs> fuck <laughs> over. You know the sex shows in Amsterdam where you oh. literally pay a ticket? I ate a banana out of a stripper's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh a great God. time. It smelled awesome. Bro, I was 18. I was so horny. Great. <laughs> dude, you say you're 18 or so. You're still so horny. So <laughs> you're the horniest dude ever. No, I had the love of my life in the crowd as well. It was so good. Have you done this, this sex show? I've been with you with some of my friends I met at a hostel. I didn't know what to expect. So I thought it was going to be like a museum slash performance. Yeah. And literally, we just sat there. We're all getting drinks. I'm like, what the fuck yeah. is this, guys? And then two people come out and just start pounding the shit out of each other on stage. And everyone's just oh. watching. And servers yeah. are coming and bringing food. It's crazy. I remember seeing this dude with the biggest cock I've ever seen. Biggest in my cock. And he's just like pointing at girls in the crowd. Clip that. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, please, <laughs> please, stop pointing at girls, sir. None of us are, are looking like that. You're hung like a fucking elephant. Please, sir. And he's just like pounding away. Yeah. And then there was like uh, this this chick like put a, a, a pen inside her pussy and, and rode on this guy's chest. Ping pong balls went crazy. But then the, the lady that I had, she's like, oh, you. And then you and me and my friend, we come out. We're like dancing on stage. I was like lit. I was a little bit high. And then I'm like, they're like, oh, I do a little like line. I'm like holding my boy's hips, like dancing. And then I feel these big. Man, gorilla hands behind me, and I was like, "What the fuck?" And there's this guy in a gorilla suit, and I was like, "Hey, yo!" I said to him, "Like, yo, what's up? What's up with this guy?" Like, because and then I looked down, and he had like a fucking twelve inch cock, like just hanging out of the suit. I, I I swear to God, out of the suit, and and I'm like, "Hey, hey, what's going on?" And then she said in a little accent, she's like, "You eat the banana out of my pussy, or if you don't, if you're not into that, suck him off." Oh, banana! And I, I've got this big. Dangly cock beside me. I was like, trust me, I'm about to fucking deep throat this banana. Yeah. Like, I'm about to get this whole thing in. Your friend's like, I, then, fuck, I got the other one then. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, there's a good circumstance. I didn't know it was because you had massive cock on the left or banana right. on the right. Uh, that was the quickest banana I ever ate. <laughs> I would have devoured it. Yeah. Turned into a smoothie in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> you pureed that shit in your mouth. So quick. All right, uh, okay, so real quick, we have so, Sink Help. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We never <laughs> <You don't> <laughs> Our fans sent us their personal questions, oh, and yeah. I, I try to get them answered. We're going to give them a brutal, honest answer. Let's real quick, it. this is from Sharish. Hey, I'm 13, so younger fan. I live in a small country named Belize in the Caribbean with about 400,000 people. I want to make content, but I need advice on how to deal with the hate, how to start a platform, what to do with the hype. Uh. And any other how, uh, things I might need to know. Sharice, is that his name? Yes. Just not, don't give a fuck about what anyone else thinks. Like, literally, do not care. You only have one life, only one shot at this, at this thing on this spinning little rock in the, in the world. Why would you give a fuck about some people in the Caribbean that are going to say that your content's stupid? Who cares? You never know. You're going to keep, you're mm -hmm. going to make content day in, day out. And that one video might go viral and it might change everything for you. Who cares? People sure. suck, people are opinionated, and people are going to judge you no matter what you do. So just work mm -hmm. and figure it out, and your dreams will come true. Yeah. So, so, but like, so like with you, I see um, you making content in like a way of where it's like you, you aren't arrogant, right? And, but you also don't give a fuck what people say. Yeah. And those things can be looked at as very, like, very similar. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like I feel like he should take that for what it's worth in the way of like be yourself, do mm -hmm. what you want, but like don't be a dick. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because like Don't you're, get cocky. yeah, like I feel, and but I mean like you're cocky, you're confident, but like you aren't like a dick, you're not like a mean guy. Yeah, yeah. nah, I just yeah, 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 I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I'm just saying like, if, but for. You know, just don't be a nobody likes a dick, but yeah. people do like. Um, just don't like, read bad comments or yeah. like if people are gonna say, "Oh, that sucks," don't do it. Then yeah. just stay sh shut up, eat just a dick, or just fuck their girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. or their sister. Oh, Done their that sister. many times. Or their mom. Really? really? You yeah. fucked me. You fucked hater sisters. Yeah, this dude almost knocked me out in high school, and I was like, "I've got something for you." 
Started fucking her sister a week later. Yeah, so oh my sister. God. Broke her heart. Yeah. Sorry, Bonnie. <laughs> you fuck her and then break her heart right after. That's, yeah, yeah, and he was so upset. You should have like, walked by his room and just fucking kicked off his door. He, he loved her as well. I'm like, sorry, bro. You shouldn't have fucking beat me up. Sorry. That's Damn. the most savage shit I've ever heard. Yeah. yeah. Some people choose arms. Some people choose guns. You choose dick. It's my weapon of choice. Have, you ever, have you ever had a uh, mother-daughter three-way? No, I had sisters though. It was great. That's awesome. yeah. How old? How separate? Are twins? No, no, no. One was like two or three years older. Wow. And, but 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 they don't do anything together, right? No, no, they didn't. No, they, it was just it was an interesting evening. I was very young as well. I was like seventeen. Um, but no, you're seventeen. I, yeah, that was a crazy night in a fucking shed. Yeah. How, how do you get Man. two sisters to the be sister. cool with having sex with one it, guy together? It's like it's like the incest shed. <laughs> incest shed. <laughs> Now available at Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I don't know how how we got about. It. Like I was I was hooking up. I really wanted to uh, have sex with the younger sister who was my age, but then the older sister was there, and then we, it just kind of it just happened. She's like picking her up from like the from like no, the she night. Did. She gonna pick her up, <laughs> and then I started fucking the the older sister like months later, and then me and her started seeing each other. She was weird, and now she's got a kid. All right. Oh, man. and it's not yours. It's not yours. <laughs> I hope not. There's, there's <laughs> no little Harrys running around, right? There is somewhere. Really? <laughs> There's gotta be. <laughs> what's your What's My your body count? Um, I'm above 160. I haven't checked it. Do you Do you like write it down afterwards? I have to. Yeah. I like, you gotta keep tabs. I, I like to check in. I think that's bigger than Tony. Like, well, what's Tony? That's Tony's, Tony's is like 130. Tony, yeah, Tony. Yeah, Tony just said he was he was three. Did, I think he said he was plus 140. Yeah, I, I, I I've just been like. I've also like slowed down a fair bit, like because the show aired, and then I was getting a little bit too frisky, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just making myself way too available. I need to find someone I actually care about. And, and then you just had like, to stop. The show at actually helped. <laughs> yeah. It did. It did. Yeah, that, that's actually kind of incredible because you know, like watching the show, you're like, oh, this is strictly just for reality, right? Yeah. Because like, you know, you see like 90 Day Fiance, Love Island, all these shows. You're like, no way, this is actually, you know, no way they're actually gonna be like a long married couple, but. The winner, you, because you were the winner of the show, right? There was like ten of us. Yeah, so yeah. Mm. And so I always say I'm the winner. I always have that one comment that really hurts. It's like he was one of the winners, and I'm like, fuck you, <laughs> you weren't the winner. You were one of them. Like, fuck you, Cheryl. It's like that hurts. I was a winner. All right. So the last thing is our <laughs> fan sent us something. Uh, I don't know if this is an article or from like his principal, but it says, okay, forty. Uh, I for so it's it's the principal writing in. I forty three female. Uh, am I a principal at a high school in Colorado? Recently, there was a meeting about improving sex education. I heard that Vermont would be the first state to require secondary schools, so high schools. This got sent to us. Yeah. So to by a principal. Yeah. To provide condoms Gosh. in the nur I think so in the nurse's office. So they have to provide condoms to all the students, nice. right? Um, I thought it was a fantastic idea. We, as the staff, superintendent and district, voted to provide free condoms in the nurse's office for juniors and seniors. We saw a poll of 61% voted yes and 39% said no of the parents, uh, meaning that there will be many, many upset parents, but teens cannot be stopped, and it's much better if they're able to protect themselves. I've caught a few students having sex in the bathroom. Typically, they're supposed to be suspended, <laughs> punished, but they would beg me not to tell their parents with a legit fear in their eyes. I realize that uh, they need these products, so I'm providing free condoms in the school is this a bad idea should we yeah that's what he that's saying that's great shout out to that guy I wish I had you yeah at my high school fuck so many days in those bathrooms you, you were used fucking to, in the high school it oh, was crazy Jenny, you're like a rabbit Jenny we had so many good memories <laughs> <laughs> He's a figure out business. It was so much fun. In business class? Yeah, and in science. You were that fucking dude. Oh, it was so that in love dude. With that's like you like you're like, oh my god, not this again. She took my virginity, so I was like, let's have sex everywhere. And we just like go down the field and stuff like that. But I think it's a great idea. I feel like regardless of anything, like people are, <laughs> especially when you're young, like you're curious as fuck. Like you wanna fool around, like you wanna know what all the hype is about, regardless of anything. I remember like I was looking at porn at like 14. Like my brother had a mm. phone and we'd like look at it and shit. Not together, but like we'd look at it. Um, <laughs> you like, hold my dick all of yours. <laughs> <laughs> but I just think that's a great idea because regardless of anything, you can't stop like kids' curiosity yeah. and it's going to happen. So you may as well try and like help control it in like a, in a safer manner. So Practice safe sex. My Practice point, safe how sex. would they get the condoms? They're like, hey, uh, principal so-and-so. Got some business in the bathroom. Need a couple condoms. Just take <laughs> it out next to the. So chair. I don't. I don't think it's to promote sex in the bathrooms. I think it's to promote, <laughs> to promote safe, safe sex, sex in yeah. general. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. like, I, like imagine being like sixteen. You're like, oh, I'm cool. I'm gonna grab like a handful of condoms. At least you got that motherfucker on you. Yeah, yeah. Because you know? you'd be like with your boys and like trying to act cool. At least you have like. Yes, you have. Them. I used to do that when I used to go to the like get my dick checked when I was younger. I'd be like, oh yeah, cool. Like 
fuck, I'll take a handful. And I would always be the dude that was slanging condoms at school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, there used to be like carnival events or like uh, huge city events yeah. and you can get free condoms that are branded and shit. You just have them with you. Yeah. Um, so how? So but so you have a condom line then, right? Yeah, it's, it's all my merch. I don't know if they're sold out or not, but yeah, it's called Boyfriend Dick Condoms. <laughs> Oh, so it's like girls buy it for their boyfriend. Is yeah, that, is it, that? Was, it was kind of like a play off the show. Like I spoke about having like a boyfriend dick and how it's like, like dudes, like this guy just ruin it for everyone because they just have hammers. Um, <laughs> 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 but I was just talking about like how, it, how that's boy, the third one. How, how a boyfriend dick is like, uh, oh, it's like, it's, it's like it's, the perfect size for you. Right? Uh, so I was like, I was talking on that. And then, you know, Francesca said, mm-hmm. oh yeah, it's like boyfriend dick, like perfect size. And I was like, oh, you know what would be great? Condom line. And then that's how it kind of comes That'd about. be a good, yeah. like, experiment, though, like, sending, like, the care packages out to, like, the schools and stuff. With boyfriend so, like, dick the condoms? School, like, the school, like, the school, like, buy them in mass. <laughs> maybe, maybe colleges, universities. Oh, col- yeah, universities. I don't know. If, I don't know high school. Yeah, the middle school is getting an order of Harry Jowsey condoms. It's yeah. going to be lit. <laughs> it's just your face I come on. and do, like, a meet and greet. Like, hey, guys. Hey, guys. Like, you, have like, you have, like, a t-shirt <laughs> cannon. <laughs> a t-shirt cannon of condoms. condoms. Uh, <laughs> I should do that. That would actually be great. Yeah, yeah like yeah. I mean, I'm telling you, if you literally go to like universities and stuff, it'll you'll be a hit. It'll be yeah. it'll be epic. Really? Oh, can dude, you let work, us take you work, dude, for our first work. Can we? Can you let us like take you for a video and get you yes. the full experience? Do I need security? No, no. you don't need security, dude. We, no, you just they're allow college us to come. Kids. They're college kids. Yeah. Okay. Why are you guys? Why are you smiling like that? I've, I've, I'm excited I've, to I've, see. Like, I've, I've 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 been to college. I know I know all the parties are. It's like you would have a genuinely fun time. And, I've and never been to college yet. I don't know how big they are. I'm just always curious because I see it in I, movies and shit. I, I wasn't in that environment. He was more still. But when I went to go visit it to see my friends, mm. it's it's massive mansions on these houses, right? But they Damn. fit in like 40 guys in there. The other side has a ton of girls and there's, they're called sororities. There's like 40 girls in there. Great. And they always just party among each other. And the frat parties are unique where no guy can get in. All girls can get in unless you're really close with the frat. So Damn. every party becomes exclusive. And the, the, the entire like appeal to it is that there's some culture in college where then everybody else would like to go to these so-called exclusive parties and so it creates this environment of like damn you know, yeah so am i your gateway in is that what you're, you're saying you're yeah, exactly yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well <laughs> i didn't even pretty much <laughs> no, so, hey guys we yeah. have harry jazzy let us fuck it in. yeah you know harry jazzy netflix show let us in right now <laughs> yeah like at my at my school we'd be fine we could you know like because i could get all these boys in but like if you go to other schools and shit mm-hmm. like you normally know girls yeah. at, at the other schools and then like and no then like the girls just like oh like this is who's coming and then it just gets fucking crazy and then it gets yeah. passed around and then everybody just yeah. I love being passed around <laughs> just get crazy. Yeah. big yeah. pass around yeah. guy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right so holy shit this was a fucking that was the, yeah, that, was, that was my that was awesome. one of my yeah that was Epic. one of my favorite episodes. <laughs> it was just that was funny as fuck. It was just it was firing out of the entire the entire time. Sometimes yeah. it gets a little dry. Yeah, you never like it when it gets dry. Never. I always spit. Spit. Yeah, spit. spit on everything. <laughs> yeah, enough spit you can fit anything in there. That's For super real. true. Yeah. That's Boyfriend. my mom. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> kind of <laughs> sus, man. Kind of right. sus. <laughs> Guys, it's amazing. All of Harry's stuff is going to be linked down below. Go follow him uh, on all platforms. Where, where, where do you want most people to follow you? Like you OnlyFans. T- OnlyFans? Yeah, yeah. Follow him on OnlyFans. <laughs> and also the podcast. Yeah, the podcast. No, 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 go check out my podcast. It's called Tap In. Uh, you can find it anywhere where you find podcasts. I don't it's know where true. they put it. They just put it up. All right. Yeah, no, go, go check it out. We'll link it down below so you guys can go subscribe to it. Guys, Legends. make sure to subscribe. Leave us a review on our podcast. We'll see you guys next time. Thank Thanks you again, so Harry. Woo! Peace out. And thank you to our sponsors. Yes, thank you. <laughs>